Now, you were head of foreign publicity? At this uh, no, I was no. not at that time. This is a, another story. You see, after we were working there, as both of us as office boys, yes. uh, I had nothing to do in the evening. So I sometimes stayed in the office, sometimes went home, and I took the Universal Weekly, which was a weekly publication, uh, which Universal published, Yes. which always had a straight from the shoulder talk by Carl Lemle. Yes. And I translated some of these articles about Universal City, Universal Stars, and I took some photos from the publicity department and I sent them to all the various trade papers that I knew in Europe mm -hmm. through my father. Of course, I knew all the trade papers and I sent these articles and this was a time when, of course, a story from America was uh, very much in demand. and. Most of them printed right away, sometimes even on the front page. Carl Lemle's picture on the front page, Universal City, and some sent checks. I got checks, five dollars, ten dollars. You on your own? Yes. Oh. And so I said, well, this is pretty good. Sure. And uh, so when I had enough of these papers together from Switzerland, from Austria, from Czechoslovakia, Germany, I sent them down to Mr. Lemle's office and I said, Mr. Lemley, I think you might be interested to see this. He did not right. know what you were doing? No, he knew no nothing. Idea. Nobody knew anything. So he immediately sent for me and he was furious. Kona, how dare you? How, how dare you do this? You, you're obligating this company to just cost thousands of dollars for, for advertising. For oh. And I was just dumbfounded. I said, but Mr. Lemley, uh, this this costs you nothing, uh, no, not only That's nothing, but I'm getting paid for these stories and I'm sending them out. And he was just looked open mouth, mm -hmm. and he immediately pressed the button and he called for the general manager, Mr. Goldstein, and he said, sit down, corner, sit down. And he said, Goldstein, do you know what this boy whom I brought over from Europe has done? Look at all this publicity we are getting, and we, you know, it costs us nothing, and he's even getting paid for it. <laughs> I guess he figured I would give him that money, but I was already <laughs> smart. I didn't turn it over, no sir. So he said, Kona, how much salary are you getting? I said, I'm still getting $18. $18. Goldstein, you will increase Kona's salary to $25, and he will be the head of our foreign publicity department. We had no foreign publicity department. <laughs> I, said, uh, I said, Mr. Lemle, can I, can I have on the door foreign publicity department in my name? <laughs> yes, you can. So I, I was thrilled to mm -hmm. death. Naturally, I walked right up and I told my boss, that I was no longer going to work for him. You I was going now up the ladder. <laughs> head, uh, and the painter came and painted the sign <laughs> on the door. And within a short time, William Wyler stuck his head in the door mm -hmm. and said, "What? Uh, what is going on?" <laughs> what is going on? Yeah. Well, I said, "You know, I've been writing." Uh huh. Well, it gave him a great deal to think about. His mind was immediately working, mm -hmm. and after a short while he said, Paul, why couldn't I do the same thing in French? I speak excellent French. I will translate what you and German, what you write in German into French, and I will send it to all the French film magazines in Switzerland and France, Belgium, and they will print it too, and maybe I can also make a little money. I said, franchise. okay, why don't you do that? Mm -hmm. And when he had, after a few weeks, a sufficient number of papers, magazines ready, I went down to see Mr. Lemley. I said, Mr. Lemley, Willie Weiler, who is my friend, as you know, has done the same work I did in French. And I wonder if he could not join the foreign publicity department. <laughs> All right, Hamlet, fine. Yeah. So, no sooner did I tell Billy, then he said, can I have my name on the door too? <laughs> <laughs> he had already caught on. Uh -huh. So, sure, I said, under my name. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, 
His name went on there, and from then on we worked together on two desks in this, and we continued working and sending out foreign publicity, and we were the foreign publicity department.